Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to give you a list of long resequencing data analysis tools that you can use for your bioinformatics project. So let's get started. So I'm going to share these resources. I will shift to this one. Okay, so this is the first resource. I got this last week, so I thought I would also make a video to share that with you. So I will leave the link to this page in the description. So this page here, is a catalog of long grid sequence data analysis tools. Okay, so when you visit this page, you you will see the list here. Okay, of course, these tools have their functions. Okay, they perform specific tasks. So it's important to look at the description to see what these tools do. All right. So on this page, I think I'm going to even enlarge it a bit. Yeah. So when you're on this page, you see the lists. Okay, we have name, we have platform, UI, citation, etc. We also have categories. So as a beginner, okay, you it's important to just look at the categories, take a quick glance. So this will let you have an idea of what the tool does, okay, in terms of analysis. Okay. So if you take a look at let's just see. Let's take a look at just one of them. Let's scroll down to see some lists here. Okay, and I'll give an example. So if you take a look at let's say this one. Attic, all right. Or uh, yeah, let me just use Attic. If you take a look at Attic, for example, let's just go down to it. I saw it somewhere here. Let's just check it out again. Yeah. So if you take a look at Attic, the platform says Python shell C. All right. When you come to this side, the technologies in focus. It says what? It's Oxford Nanopore. That's what it says here. And then when we come to the category for the category what does it say it says generating consensus sequence snape and variant analysis analysis pipelines quality filtering all right so this lets you have an idea of what this tool does okay some of the list here may comprise of several tools okay some tool will be individual tools but the most important thing is to check the categories so categories here in this case you can also refer to it as a brief description of the tool all right so once you see that that gives you an idea that if i use this tool then this is what i'm going to achieve okay this is what i will achieve when i apply this tool to my data the same goes to all these other ones now there is a new this is a lot we have a lot of tools here all right so when you scroll down you see you have this page one you also have it says one to 25 of 836 rules. So the 836 rules, I'm assuming that's the total number of tools listed in this page. So this is 1 to 25, that's page one. When you click, you go to page two. Okay, in that order, page three, in that order. There's also an arrow here to send it to the next. There's an arrow here to send it to the previous. So it's a very cool resource. Now, when you come to this side, a platform, you can filter by platform so when you are here just come to platform click it and you select the platform okay, some of them were developed in python some in c some in c++ some are shell to school dust so you can also look at this probably maybe you are an r expert or a python expert or c expert you may want to go for a tool that will be compatible using so when you are here you can just check it out some of them a single tool some of them are combinations so for example this one it says java c java groovy java prices so you will decide what you want to do now let's just say we want a tool that was developed using python or that let's say uh, uses python to perform its tasks just python alone let's just check we should have some here python let's just check you will just look at just python here like this so when you click it then you find all tools that were developed with Python or tools that probably require Python to run or something like that. And then you can check the categories, technologies in focus, etc. So this will also help you to filter or narrow down to tools that will suit your needs. All right. It's not only about this, you can also search. So when you come here, you can search. Okay, so let's just say I want to search for let's say nano plots. When I click it. It gives me tools that contain this in nanoplots. Of course, we have nanoplots here. Platform is Python visualization. The nanoplots 
it's used for QC, right? So it visualizes quality and some information about your long reach data. We also have nano plotter for visualization. Okay, you can also search, let's say, UP in UPPY. Let's see what comes up. UP. So if you have something like this, you can see if there's a tool with the name group in it. I don't see any tool yet. Okay, so I don't see that here. So that means that is not available. You can also search for other ones. Just try. So at this at this stage, you have to decide what tool that you want to search for and then see if you can get some results. Of course, I believe this is a non-exhaustive list, but at least this will help you get started when it comes to looking for tools to analyze your long with sequencing data. All right, so it's important. You can also search here. There's also a search here. Let's search nano plots. And let's search. Okay, so it gives us this one. So when you do it this way, you get this. You can click on it. Then you have some information given to you. Okay, of course, here when it comes to this side, you have to do the reading search and then read more about the tool and make sure that it will suit your needs. So these are things you have to check. Okay, let's get back. You can also search, let's say, Goopy. Let's try Goopy again to see if you'll get a hit. So I'll click search. Unless I click enter, okay, good. So this one has returned Goopy for me, so I can click it and see, get some information out of this color. So that's it. I wonder why it did not show up in the first one, of course. So you have to do the reading and then make sure everything is fine. So this is just a step that you need. In fact, if I'm going to analyze the types, so it's important to search for the tools, get the documentation, read about the tools. And make sure that it fits your needs all right it's important so don't just go and then use any tool without you reading about it some have even optimized for certain organisms or certain read lens etc so you need to make sure you read the documentation and make sure that it's suitable for your work okay you can go back to home this is home okay so that's home let's go to table yeah so this is the table okay so when we are here you see all this you can also click on tools then just look at the category right so you can just say so it is more like a text mining basically you are searching for information you can also look at tutorials when you click on tutorials then you can check then we let's we have long reach long reach let's say bacterial genome hybrid assembly you can click this and just check what is there there are various links here, so you can just use and get more tutorials as well. Benchmarks. So basically, it, it's it's the page is yours. Okay, it's a publicly available website or let me say database. So just check it out and then make sure you you search and then get what you want. There's also this resource that I saw, but I saw it just before I started recording this video. So it also says awesome and report. So this one is. A list of software packages for nanopore sequencing data analysis. So we have that here. So we have some list here. I think there's also an extensive list. So you can just check it out, read, and then look at tools that can help you analyze your data. And of course, you can also reach out to me if you want some help analyzing your data. Some of you may not be experts, but at least if you know the tools, if you know what you're looking for, then it becomes easier to work with experts. All right, that's also. Very, very important okay so this is what we have for you okay yeah, so this is it for this video and i i'll be trying to comb the web to see if i can get some other useful tips that you can use so sometimes it's not about analysis it's also about providing you with the resources so once i get some interesting resources i'll also share with you and then you can read more and then and that will help you to analyze your data so i will see you in the next video